In the overview lesson, I showed you how to do speed changes using the speed option. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a simple speed up and slow down and how to fit to fill using the frame number option. You may want to refer to the overview tutorial for overall detailed step-by-step -step information on the basic concepts. When speeding up or slowing down with the frame number option, you can have the first frame or the last frame start and end exactly where you want by using the frame number setting instead of the speed percentage. We can see here on the timeline that we have a cut and then there's a gap and then another cut. I should mention that these two cuts are actually subclips from the original footage. We learned about making subclips in the overview tutorial. I encourage you to review that if you don't know what I'm referring to. This first cut or subclip ends at frame 59, so maybe we want to shorten this clip to make it 50 frames. Since the timeline starts at zero, we can drag the edge of the clip to frame 49, but we don't want to lose any of the content of our clip, so we can add Twixter to retime the clip. Since we want to shorten the clip or speed it up, we need to use media effects. We can right mouse click on the clip and select media effects and add Twixter. Now let's look at Twixter's settings. We're going to use the frame number option and select the stopwatch to set keyframes. We go to the first frame of the cut and set a keyframe of 0 at the first frame. So the first frame of the source will be remapped to the first frame of the output clip. Now we can stop the playhead at frame 49 and then in the dialog box we can tell Twixter to put frame 59 at frame 49. Now our first cut will play the original 60 frames in just 50 frames and we didn't lose any content. We just sped the shot up a bit. The next thing I want to do is fit my second clip, which is also a subclip from the original footage, into a gap that's larger than the clip. I need to slow my clip down to fill this gap. Twixter can help me with that too. And normally in Vegas, when you slow a shot down this much, you might get jerky and unpleasant looking artifacts. But with Twixter, we can actually create better in-between frames with our proprietary tracking technology and motion vectors. Let's take a look at how we do this. We can place our subclip at the first frame of the gap on the timeline. In this case, it's frame 50. If we want to know what the original frame numbers of our subclip are, we can right mouse click on the clip and open in Trimmer. We can see here that the first frame number is frame 90 from the original footage. Now if we go to the last frame of our subclip, we can see that it's frame 150. But really it's frame 149 because the trimmer adds one black frame at the end for audio. So subclip 2 is 60 frames. These frame numbers are irrelevant to Twixter though because Twixter calculates from zero internally. So what we need to do is make sure the playhead is at the first frame of the clip. We want to retime in Twixter, so frame 50 in this case. We can go to the time display and right mouse click and select time format, set time at cursor. We will enter zero, so this will tell Twixter that this is frame zero and to start counting frames from this point on. We can go to frame 59 and see that this is the last frame of our clip because we started counting at zero. Now we can drag the edge of the clip to frame 149 to fill the gap and then add Twixter by going to Video Effects or one of the other methods we described in the overview tutorial and drag Twixter to our clip. We're using Video Effects instead of Media Effects now because we're making the clip longer. We use video effects to make the clip longer or slower, and we use media effects to make the clip shorter 
or faster. We're going to leave the display on Twixtured output. We can select the frame number option and then go to frame and select the stopwatch to animate the keyframes for the frame numbers. We will set the first keyframe at zero. We can enter frame zero in the dialog box. Frame 90 of our original footage that we renamed zero will now be at frame zero of our result. If this seems confusing to you now, it will make sense when we're all done and you can always watch this tutorial again. Now, we set the playhead on the last frame of the gap, which is frame 149, and we want the last frame of our cut there, which is now frame 59. We want it to be remapped to frame 149, so we enter 59 in the dialog box for frame number, and this makes our end keyframe. Just one last thing we want to check. Since our original clip was too short to fill the gap and we dragged the edge of the clip to frame 149, we just want to make sure that loop is checked by right mouse clicking on our clip and going to the properties. Now all we need to do is change the timeline to start at zero again by moving the playhead back to zero, which now says minus 50, and right mouse clicking on the frame number and select time format, set time at cursor, and enter zero. We can now render the sequence and take a look at the result. It was that easy to fill this five second gap with our two second clip. So this is how you speed up and slow down and fit to fill using the frame number option in Twixter within Sony Vegas.